Ah, it's called the market right now, Flowrider, because it's going down for real. What have I, what have I turned to become? Which, yeah, the market's pretty bad. So anyway, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe channel, 288,000 subscribers as soon as possible. We're obviously trying to hit 300,000 by the new year. But lads, it's going down for real. It's going down, down, down. Um, who was it? Oh my God, I forgot who made the song down. It's even hard to find, is it? Jay Sean, I knew it was Jay Sean. Call me Jay, call it Jay Sean, cause it's going down, or is it down? The market is Jay Sean right now. Jay Sean down. Lads, dark batteries are so cheap. Wilt is 100K. I'm just gonna see, can I get Wilt for 100? Blake is 100K. Levine is 100K. A, hun a 39 Hoff badge Wilt is 250K. Yao is 315K. Ewing, 100. Kristaps, under 200. Tatum, 100. Wilt, I mean, if I can get a diamond contract Wilt for 100K, there is no way. Okay, 140K, that makes sense. Let's see, there is no way I make a loss in that Wilt tomorrow. Jokic, 80K. Let's see what Dark Matters are going for buyouts that are, I wish you could search non-takeoff cards. I wish there's a way like you could filter without having to buy all the cards, you could filter them out. But like Alonzo Mourning, obviously he was always under 100k. Let's see who else is under 100 now. Larry's 100. So like Larry's pretty damn good for 100k. Like it's so low. Like this, this is the lowest the market's been in so long. Like I had to sell like my Paul Arison for 3,000 MT when he was like, I bought him 7k yesterday. I made big losses on Paul Arison and Jason Williams. Like you're looking at Dunk Tober Yoke, which is a complete buyout now. I mean, Dunk Tober Yoke was never that expensive. I do want to say that, like, he was never that expensive. Dude, it's a buyout right now. Like, man, if you're a sniper, this is the perfect time. People are going to be putting a dumb, cheap Dark Matters because they're just going to see 99 overall, not look for the specific card and put cards up for 100k. Please let me scroll to the 4 hour mark. Please let me scroll to the 4 hour mark. Please let me scroll at least close to it so we can see some new cards. But like Larry's, and Larry at 100 is a great value player. You're looking at these guys like Dr. J in the 80K range. You're looking at Draymond in the 80K range, who is still one, like Draymond the 80K has to be one of the best value cards in the game. Like, I'm sorry, he's that elite. Like, is he that much better than say, Mikael Bridges? No, but he's that elite that like, at his price, he's a steal. At his price, he's a steal, man. Speaking of Warriors, man, the Warriors are so damn good on defense. They're just scheme. Like, they're not even, like, they've got good individual defense. Everyone's talking about ways, like, no, they literally threw, like, 18 different looks at Luka. It's the coaching more than anything. Like, Wiggins is a competent defender. Like, Wiggins is a decent defender. The coach more than Like, you're getting hollows, hollow Draymond to 95. Like, I'm actually surprised. So, Tatum's down to 98. Um,. So yeah, like 80k, you're looking at 80,000 MT for Dre, which is so cheap. But look at look how cheap Dark Matters are. Let's say Opals. So where is it, like 4k? Let me look, 4k Galaxy Opals. What? Paul Arison was like 4k earlier today. 5k is only Paul Arison. Great. Nope, you can get David Thompson for 5k as well. 4.9 David Thompson, Paul Arzen. Is it only Paul David Thompson and Paul Arzen? I thought there'd be more than that. I really did think there'd be more than just two of those guys. Look between like five and six and a half K. Let's go like five and seven and a half K. I know you're gonna get Jason Richardson. Jay, Jay Rich is really good, by the way. I know you're gonna get like Jason Richardson in this range, in this filter. But like, again, the amount of Opal like individual cards, like obviously Booker is not great, but like things good. David Thompson's good. And you're obviously getting the likes of Lamar Odom, Wes Unsell for under 10K. You're getting all of those guys. I just wish I didn't sell my damn Paul Arson so I could filter him out of this freaking thing to show you guys. 
but the market is at an all time low right now. Like it is buyer's market today. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be saying, oh, but like what if the new season, it's highly unlikely the market ever recovers where it was. But it's also highly unlikely if you can get a Will Chamberlain for 100K, you're not gonna make a profit. Like it's highly unlikely this time tomorrow, Will Chamberlain's 100K. I'm sorry, it is. It's highly unlikely that he has 100K and not 150K this time tomorrow. So if you really want, like, if you have a whole bunch of MT and you want like a Wilt, go and buy it. Go and buy the card. Like 6,600 for a Marion to steal. I want, I want to check what, what are Invincibles? What are the Invincibles going for right now? Scotty's down at 700k. Holy crap. Like he was 1.5. If you bought a Scotty on launch day and you tried to sell him now, let's just say he sells for the 703. If you bought him launch day for 1.5 mil, let's say he sells for 703, you get 160. You lose nearly a million MT. You lose 870,000 MT. Give or take a few, couple, couple of thousand. You lose the best part of a million MT if you, in one week on Scotty. If you bought a launch day shack for 3 million, you're losing. Like nearly, you're losing 2.1 million. You're, nine, you're probably losing 2 million. So man, the Invincible Hype is dying quick. The Invincible Hype well and truly is dying quick. So I can see other than Yanis, other than Yanis, I can see, um, because like with Yanis, I think Yanis is gonna be a ridiculous price, but I think Pen, I think Kobe's gonna be expensive as well. I think Penny's gonna be like 400K. That is my prediction is that Penny's gonna drop the 400,000 empty tomorrow. I think Scotty drops the five. I think Scotty might drop more, but I think Penny's gonna be at a 400,000 MT. Which might be a crazy thing to say, but I think there's no way there's three Invincibles and one of them's not less than 500k. But the whole thing is, is that like, I think in general, the Dark Matters are gonna drop in price. Because there are so many free ones. Like Dame was 250k last week, or two weeks ago. Dame's less than 100 right now. KD 250k. Man, if you're getting, you're getting Dr. J 70k bit snipe. This has to be a bit snipe. Like, I, I surely I don't make a loss on this. Like, I'm pretty sure Dame did not appear. Can I? Yeah, I was about to say, I'm pretty sure if I get him for 70, I made profit. Like, if I get a bid, I get a bid on Glensky. I don't really care. I got a bid on both of them, it doesn't matter. I was about to say, if I get Glen for 62k, I can sell him for 80, and that's a bit of a profit. Like, the amount of people that are putting up their Dark Matter is a bids. Like, right now, you can bid. You can win so many ridiculous cards and bid. Like, I can almost guarantee that you can get a Will Chamberlain for... Like, if I... I'm, I might win one of these Wills. I think if I bid on enough Wills, I'm bound to get one at 100. And I'm cool with spending 100k MT on Wills. I'm sorry. If I win this Wills, I'm perfectly happy. I got a bid. Whatever. But I bid last time. If I got, if I got that Wills at 110k with a Diamond Shoe, which I'm pretty sure was 3-point, because who's... We'll put a 3-point shoe. is not 3-point on him. I'm pretty confident he goes for 130 on something. But yeah, like, it is kind of crazy. Everyone's selling everything for season seven. And there's a risk in buying. I Like, if you really want a card, I think that today is going to be a lower price than, say, Saturday or Sunday. I think over the course of the season, the price is going to go down. As long as you hold on the cards that appreciate. But this is a market crash that was caused by everyone trying to sell their big cards for Kobe, for Penny, for Giannis. As well as realizing we're getting a free Opal's Eye on tomorrow. We're getting 15 free cards. Seven, uh, probably it'll probably be ten opals, five dark matters. Like in the next couple of weeks, we're all going to be getting multiple dark matters. These Evo, we don't know what's going to happen with these Evo cards. Could we th be Evo and just random reward cards, making them dark matters? Who knows? Nobody knows. So people are starting to sell off their collections, which is why they're like, again, I don't have too much MT. I don't have that much MT tied up in anything. Like I'm trying to think what players I have. I have Jermaine O'Neal. What's Jermaine O'Neal going for? I, I would genuinely, I don't like playing with Jermaine. Jermaine O'Neal is so damn inconsistent. Is this a joke? What price is Jermaine O'Neal going for? This can't be, this can't be real. This actually can't be real. No, like, no way. No way is he like, if he's like 40k, I'll sell him. Because I bought him a 40. I bought him a 30 something k. He's like 45, 48K. 
So yeah, so he's 45k. There's no way. There is no way. I got sell him at that. Build up empty. Like 45k. You have 30, 32k on every one of these. Like I can be 32k, whatever. If I if I win all these Jermaine O'Neal's, like what the hell's going on? Like are people just not looking for certain cards? Nah. Nah. The auction has glitched. I would say, I was like, if I somehow win, if I somehow win a Jermaine O'Neal at like 30 something K, to make a 10K profit. 11K, what? Imagine, imagine I win more than one of these cards. I just could be like a 30, 40K profit in this video alone. It's like the market really is like the amount, you're gonna find gems like this. You're gonna find random cards being put up for bids, just at stupidly low prices. Like I'm probably gonna get a bid on all these because I'm bidding very low. Yeah, I'm bidding very low on these. I gotta bid on them all. But I can guarantee you that like if you bid on enough, you're bound to win one. Like I'm still got two bids on right now. Probably not gonna win any, but like if you bid, not specifically on your bid, if you start bidding on cards, there are so many cards that have been put up on the market at no buyouts, you're bound to win one for cheap and you're bound to make a lot of NT. So this is a really good chance of either getting cards you want for cheap or honestly making a lot of MT because everybody's selling their damn collections. Anyway, yeah, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.